Hello, this is Nozman from the Maxon training team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to take a texture that has been flat projected on an object and bake it onto the object's UV map. The reason you would want to do this, because if you're just rendering from Cinema 4D, you have no problem rendering multiple materials with multiple projections on the same object. But what if you want to take this as a unique texture, the face, plus this flat projection and uh, export it to a game engine or something like that. And there is where it becomes useful. So let's see how we're going to do this. We are going to select the object that has all the textures and go to the object tab and bring up the bake object. Now the bake object allows you to bake the illumination where it says illuminate, but that requires materials in the luminance channel. And currently, if I bring this down here, you will see that as far as the skin is concerned, it's in the color channel. So we need to find this head diffuse and put it in the luminance. So select the luminance, go here, and in this menu it says bitmaps. Let's find the head diffuse. So this is the texture and let's turn off the color. As far as the tattoo, this is already in the luminance channel. I did that uh, beforehand. And now we are ready to bake. Now, the information we need to provide is, first of all, keep UVs so that the UV map of the head is going to be retained. Now, talking about the head UV map, if I go to the UV edit, what you will see is that the polygons that exist within that transition over here are at a different size. And although in the 3D view they're pretty much the same, here they're different. So this could be a problem if you're just trying to place this in Photoshop or something like that over the actual skin texture. And that's why we need baking. So let's go back to the startup. Let's zoom out, deselect everything and select object mode. Let's bring up the bake object and uh, we're keeping UVs, we're baking the illumination, and as far as the resolution, we need to make it at least as high resolution as the main base image. And you can see that if you go to this material and select whatever is holding this bitmap over here, 4096 by 4096, and that's why I set these. And now you set a path, your color depth and all that, and you bake. This will replace your object, I can close these, and the material and hide the previous one. Now if I go here, you will see now that I have this material. It looks odd because it has these lines. To get rid of these lines, first of all, let's go to the viewport and say no scaling and you can't see them. Another thing you would uh, require to do, you can always turn off the reflectance, is go here and turn off the sampling. So no further mapping is applied to this. And from this point onwards, you have this material and we can go and edit this. It will open up Photoshop and show us this. You can see that everything has been placed in the right position so that it looks seamless in Cinema 4D. This is now a single texture, which you can use in a game engine or any other software. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.